A wild scene at the Walnut Creek Nordstrom store last night as looters flooded it. Shoppers today reacting to that crazy scene and the news that happened as a result. And Walnut Creek police released new information on what happened today, including that there were 80 people involved and they have already made three arrests and plan out to monitor that shopping area throughout the evening after receiving some information that that same group may be coming back again tonight. Crown Force Taylor Bisaki live for us in Walnut Creek tonight with the very latest on this story. Taylor, definitely a wild scene. Absolutely, and some police are still out here in the area now monitoring, obviously, this area after what happened and unfolded last night. Normally, Nordstrom closes at 7 p.m., but tonight it closed early at 5 p.m. as a precaution. Some other stores also took their lead on that one, and right now I'm actually standing in the road Broadway Plaza because this street is still closed down as well to deter criminals from coming through here in their cars, as we saw in those wild scenes that came out last night. Now, also... Um, despite everything that they've done to stop this from happening, there was another unrelated shoplifting incident earlier this afternoon. It was pretty shocking because um, we had made an appointment at the Apple store here and we thought it'd be a safe place to come because we live in Stockton, so we wanted to go to Walnut Creek. And so we're like, oh, maybe not after dark. Shoppers and locals living in Walnut Creek on edge Sunday after a mob of 80 looters stormed the Nordstrom store on Saturday. Witness Brett Barrett, who also manages a restaurant across the street, describes the chaotic scene from Saturday night. Half the tables were up at the windows looking to see what's going on. We had to lock the front door. I had to lock the back door. The whole restaurant just kind of stopped for a minute and was just watching because there was a mob of people. The police were flying in. It was a scene out of the movie. It was insane. Walnut Creek police say it happened around 9 p.m. while the store was open with employees and shoppers inside. We started receiving calls that there were tons of cars cars flooding into Broadway Plaza area and uh, then we received reports that people dressed in masks and dark clothing were running into Nordstrom. Um, they were clogging the streets with their vehicles. Um, they had crowbars and were running out with property and getting into the vehicles and fleeing the scene. Police say two employees were assaulted and one was pepper sprayed but their injuries are minor. So far they arrested three people. 30-year-old Dana Dawson of San Francisco, 32-year-old Joshua Underwood of San Francisco, and 18-year-old Rodney Robinson of Oakland. Charges include robbery, burglary, conspiracy, possession of stolen property, illegal possession of a firearm by a felon, and carrying a concealed weapon. Mayor Kevin Wilkes says these brazen thefts will not be tolerated. Our police department will have made and will make arrests. We are going to be working with the DA's office to have the most serious charges that we can possibly have and we will be encouraging the DA's office to charge them with the highest crimes possible. On Sunday, police stepped up patrols in this area and put up barriers to cut off car access on Broadway Plaza, where one of the entrances to the store is located. Despite the increased police presence, a witness says other thieves were back at it on Sunday. I saw a Nordstrom employee run out of the building, notify the police that two people had ran out of their back uh, with items. And as I kind of followed, uh, a woman at the corner said she saw it. And then about two or three police SUVs, lights and sirens went chasing down the street after them. Police confirmed there was an unrelated grab and run incident Sunday afternoon and say they caught an individual involved. Now, if they haven't done so already, many of these stores are now shutting down, closing down. And that's again, of course, after police alerted some of these nearby businesses that they received information that same large, large group from Saturday night might plan to come back to this area sometime Sunday evening. As a precaution, they're shutting down all the stores here uh, pretty early. So that's the latest here live in Walnut Creek. I'm Taylor Basaki reporting Cron 4 News. Taylor,